hi guys so before you get into watching this vlog which i filmed last week i am uploading this on my birthday and although it is so lovely to get all your birthday wishes and they really do mean a lot to me one of the things i wanted to do this year was to raise awareness and raise money for something that i actually talk about in this vlog and something that i have talked about for years and years and that is mental health. As you guys know, I'm very open about mental health and the struggles that I have had with anxiety and you've all pretty much been there throughout my journey and that is why I really wanted today on my birthday to start a fundraising page for Mind, which is a charity that I am the digital ambassador of. It's a charity I hold very dear to my heart because when I was a teenager and I really struggled with what was going on inside my brain, I did not understand what was happening. I thought something was seriously wrong with me. I didn't understand that anybody else could feel the same way I did and it was very isolating and very confusing and when I googled anxiety mind was the first website that came up it was full of information and it was the first place I got support for my mental health and it's a seriously amazing charity that is putting funding into helping people get the treatment they need to speak to people that they might not necessarily feel they can speak to and also just raising incredible awareness for mental health which is something that i am very very passionate about i also know that there are so many of you who also have mental health issues and i've read thousands of your messages and i feel like together we can like absolutely do this raise awareness donate money but most importantly help people get the support they really really need i've set the target quite high we're aiming big guys we don't have to try and raise all the money today on my birthday but today was the day i wanted to kick start it and if there is anything you do today apart from carry on watching this vlog i would absolutely love for my birthday present for you to click the link in the description box go on over to the page have a little read about the charity um donate as much or as little as you can and if you can't donate then make sure you share the page so that somebody else might then donate or most importantly somebody else might then hear about mind and the amazing things they can do and it could help them in that way and i know that so many of us in this community are so supportive and really want to make a change and i know that so many of you know what it feels like to suffer in silence to not understand what's going on and to have a mental health issue and so for that reason uh i would absolutely love if we could all support this and uh do this incredible thing for mental health and for mind the charity i'm going to be sharing the page a lot more after this but i just know that this vlog will go up on my birthday and that is the same day that the fundraising page is going to start you can also text to donate i will leave the information in the description box please 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 go and check it out do that right now and then come back and finish watching this vlog it's a really nice one and i actually have some kind of mental health news of my own which i think is really really fitting um with this part of the vlog and the whole thing that I want to do which is to raise money and raise awareness for mental health and more importantly for mind which is an incredible charity I'm gonna say thank you now in advance because I just know that you guys are the most generous supportive viewers that anyone could ever ask for and I know that this is a huge thing that's very close to a lot of your hearts so yeah thank you so so much and uh enjoy the rest of the video good morning everybody it is now wednesday and i haven't actually picked up this camera since last week when i did the book shoot which i've been trying to edit but it was six and a half hours long so i'm getting there also my laptop broke which was really inconvenient and happened at really the wrong time so i then had to find my old laptop <laughs> and like update all that and like sort that out so i'm i'm almost done editing that so i hope you don't mind that there was a bit more of a gap between my videos this week i've just had a very very busy week the start of this week i had my therapist come down to brighton um i don't know if i've ever mentioned this before but the person who i speak to every week on skype for like the past 
four years um she comes down to see me face to face about twice a year which i always find very helpful but it's really long sessions it's over two days um so yesterday and the day before that so monday and tuesday and um i find it really helpful i really enjoy it but it is so exhausting because you're talking about such complex like mind things for so long like i actually kind of lose my voice as well and then in the evenings me and alfie just don't talk to each other because we've been talking all day but yeah that is basically what the start of my week has been so not really much to film not really much to report but we do have a very exciting week next week because we're going to new york so i'm going to be doing lots of like new york preparation which i'm sure i will take you along for the ride with me eh? see my brain's not working <laughs> and that is why i have a therapist now it's just not working because it's gone to mush okay i'm in the office as you can see um because i didn't manage to get in the office at all last week because of the shoot actually i came in last monday and then i had the shoot for the rest of the week um so i've been catching up on lots of worky bits and um sorting out loads of stuff but now we have these little troughs and we need to fill them. Hello, Missy Moo. You're gonna go on the sofa in your little spot. Oh God, she's so cute. You are so cute. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna nip out and see how many plants we can get, but I think we're gonna need a lot to make any impact. Holly, do you have a tape measure? Yeah. You do? Oh, by the way, Holly, Holly is our new office manager. I feel like Alfie's already addressed this in his vlog, but I haven't actually addressed this in mine, um, which is very exciting. Um, love it. <laughs> Bloody hell! This is like a proper heavy duty one as well. Um, I'm just going to measure the troughs. We're in the plant shop now. Yeah, they're all real. <laughs> um, but they don't have any of the little ones I'm thinking of, but they do have some really amazing massive ones that I am a bit obsessed with. This. I want one of these, Holly. Look at this one, it's heart shaped. Oh, cute. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, they don't have as many like little fountain y no. ones. These ones are okay, but they're not very like full. Yay! Here we go, the finished trough. <laughs> these are all the plants we just picked up. And now we just have how many more troughs? <laughs> Four. Four more? Gladi hell but they're getting some more hanging ones in on Friday, so we'll probably knit back and get some more. Me and Alfie have now come into town. You probably can't hear me because it's so windy. We just want to do a little bit of, oh my God, you're such a daredevil. It's a green man. Constantly running. It's a green man. Oh, oh my God, why have I gone shy oh, about vlogging sorry. in public? <laughs> I don't want to lift my camera up. Get it up. <laughs> Go. Why have I got the vlogging public fear? Because you haven't been out of the house in a week. Yeah, that's right. Why? I just worked out with Alfie that I haven't left the house in a whole week because of the shoot and then you speaking to a, to a therapist. Yes, I am. So we're just going to do a bit of New York shopping. That's what we're doing. Ooh. I can get some of that. You could always eat. Look at that. It I, does do, I do need to eat. Alfie's already found some stuff. Although I struggle with sizes in here because it's all different like, I don't yeah. know, I can't wait to try it on. <laughs> We're now upstairs and I've told Alfie that he has to buy me a whole outfit. Don't show them yet, I want it to be a reveal. Okay. But I'm letting him pick an entire outfit, so top, bottoms and shoes, okay? And shoes? Yeah, I have to put the whole thing on. And, and, a, and a bag if you like. Little a bag. Bag. Yeah. I'm excited. Who's paying for it? <laughs> me, I'll pay. <laughs> Nala! <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. We're going home. We're now heading home. Alfie in his car, me in the range. We did actually come in one car, but this car had been in for a service or something. But we've got it back. Um, shopping is done. Oh my God. <sighs> shopping is done. Um, and now we're gonna head home, have some dinner and chill. Aren't we? Yeah. Yes. She's so cute. She's got a little doggy seatbelt on. Safety first. Honestly. Boys and their toys, eh? So do you remember yesterday when 
Alfie picked me an outfit that he really wanted me to wear. So we carried on looking. He managed to get some jeans in Topshop, this hoodie in Urban Outfitters, and some shoes in Vans. Now, <laughs> You can go and see my actual reaction, like my initial reaction over on Alfie's vlog, but I just thought I'd show you because, uh, yeah. It looks amazing. Here's the outfit. Um, like these trousers look like I've put on like my dad's trousers. Alfie cut them wonky, so this one is longer than the other one. I really like the Vans, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think they look great. <laughs> I'm not sure about the hoodie because it looks like it's padded on the shoulders. I love a hoodie, but this is the weirdest fit. The shoulders are so strange. Anyway, Alfie said he thinks I look amazing in this outfit, which has given me such a complex because I'm like, what must you think when I think I look nice in my normal outfits that don't look like this? <laughs> I said I gave him a five out of ten. Alfie, I'm look at this. So, I'm so sad that you think this outfit. Okay, let's show them the thumb. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can, might keep the hoodie. That. It might just. Can you see what I mean about no, the shoulders? I 100 because see I what think you mean. I need to wash it. Maybe. No, I'm not sure. It's, it's going to be like stiff. this forever. But this is a kind of hoodie where you just throw it on. You put on a jacket over the top. I do just, like that it's white. Do you not like the back? Have they seen the back? No. Look at the shoulders. I look the back. Like Looks Mostly. sick. Look, gorgeous. I've put on so much muscle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just meant to be like a throw on cash outfit. There yeah, you go. just a throw on cash outfit. I love the little the shoes pants and the pants that Alfie bought me. I love the shoes. Okay, Alfie has now gone to the office and I am going to stay here for the morning with Nala um, because we've got an empty house today and I kind of like it. So I'm going to make the most of it. I have taken off my trousers. <laughs> I'm gonna go and put on a different outfit now. It was not my favorite look he's ever put together, not gonna lie. I just don't understand the shoulders of this hoodie. I would have really, really liked it if it didn't look like I'd been bodybuilding in it. I bought quite a few things when I went shopping yesterday. I got quite a lot in Urban Outfitters. I bought a couple of things in Bershka. Instead of just packing them straight into my suitcase, because I have done that a few times before, taken something away with me, put it on, and I haven't actually liked what it looks like, and thought, I should have tried this on before I packed it. So I'm gonna do that. I also bought two new bras from, from, from Victoria's Secret. My God, they were expensive. One was 59 pounds and one was 49 pounds. Woo! But I really like them. I do think they are very nice well-made bras and they feel so comfortable so yeah i'm happy with them i've got one on that's why i'm touching myself but i am now going to try on a couple of the bits and pieces that i bought <laughs>
day today. Oh my God, it's making me so happy. Like, look outside. That is a sure sign that spring is on the way. I can't wait to be out here eating my breakfast in the morning. It's gonna be so good. I've now put on a lazy oaf kind of cropped high neck jumper, which I really like. I am going to get myself a little snack. It feels like it should be about midday because I've been awake since half six, but it's actually quarter past 10. I love when that happens because I almost feel like I've got loads of the day back. I think I'm gonna have some lime cordial because that is my absolute fave. I'm going to try and finish this photo shoot edit because I'd really like to get that up today. And then I am gonna be filming in New York. What I'm probably gonna do is film for the whole week and then edit it and upload it when I get back. Just so that I'm not like spending time there editing. You've seen how much I film. I film a lot. So editing takes me a really long time and I don't want to miss out on anything because I've been inside editing. So that is my plan. Oh, I think I might have a wagon wheel. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> my vlog is finally uploading. I'm so happy. It has been, oh my God, I'm so tired. I actually look tired. Uploading and editing this vlog has been so hard because, and also the vlog before, my laptop just would not save videos. It crashed every time. That happened a fair few times and I had to transfer things from my old laptop to my new laptop. It's not even new, it's newer. <laughs> um, but yeah, what a palaver. Oh my gosh. Thankfully, both laptops are in working order now, so that's good. I never really comprehended how much my laptop not working would halt, halt, alter how much I could do. Like I wasn't really looking at my emails because nothing was displaying properly. Basically everything was coming up like black boxes. <laughs> And I couldn't adjust the brightness, I couldn't adjust the volume, so no sound was coming out. I couldn't watch videos on it, I couldn't do anything on it. And I was like, wow, I'm definitely addicted to my laptop. Because clearly, <laughs> everything stops when I can't use it. It's all good, it's all going up. So if you've not yet seen that vlog, make sure to go and check it out. I will have uploaded it before you watch this one. And I really hope you enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of like time lapses and like, it's quite a long vlog, but... Um, and I hope you find it interesting. It's just, I, on days like that, it's so difficult to remember to take my camera out. And I think I did an okay job. And I know that a lot of you don't mind a good time lapse anyway. So yeah, hope you liked it. Right, I'm now going to pack up my stuff and head to the office. I've put this hoodie back on because I think Alfie will really love that I'm wearing it. <laughs> And it looks, actually it looks fine once I've got something on top. I think I just need to like pad down these, these little shoulder pads. I just came in here for a wee. This is my downstairs toilet by the way. I don't know if I've ever done a little downstairs toilet tour, but this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. Let me like give you a little tour. We actually had this put in, this didn't exist before. The downstairs toilet was in the dining room, which I personally just think is bloody awkward if you're having a dinner party and someone wants to go to the toilet because who wants to leave the table and step into a toilet in a dining room? Like no one. So we had this put here. So this did not exist before. And inside we have banana leaf wallpaper. Um, we have these tiny little like twinkly lights in the ceiling. The ceiling's like a very dark um, gray. And then we've got speakers as well and an air vent. Wait, where are the speakers? Oh yeah, the speakers are actually above the, the ceiling. Then we have the toilet. And then this is the cabinet, which is actually an Ikea cabinet. Um, <laughs> this, by the way, is the reason I was coming in here, so don't let me forget about this. <laughs> but we'll ignore that for now. This is actually an Ikea cabinet, but we ordered um, the like new fronts to the cabinet and then like separate handles and obviously separate legs. 
Um, and then we also got a marble worktop and a copper basin, which let me tell you, if you want a copper basin, don't do it because 99% of the time it will look like this. It's just stained. It's so sad. You can get this off, but you have to use like really like special copper cleaner. And essentially, there's no point because every time you do it, it uh, the water just makes it green again. So we do it every now and then, but I've kind of learned to accept the fact that that will always not look shiny. <laughs> when we first moved in though, it looked amazing. And then we've just got like a big copper mirror and then these Tom Dixon pendants, which we had to replace because the bulbs that were put in when we first moved in uh, were not the right bulbs and they actually melted. And then, behind here so we went for a very dark gray on like the door and this cupboard here um i always forget we have this cupboard um these are the door handles we've picked these are kind of throughout our entire house in different colors and then we have a little secret cupboard which we never use for anything it's got a light in it and everything um i guess it's for just like extra coats and bits and pieces to be honest i kind of want to keep Nala's stuff in here because I feel like it would be very useful but I don't know you could plug your straighteners in. We opted for maximum storage in this house which is why we have some we don't even know what to fill with yet but we have kids uh, in the future who I'm sure will do that. <laughs> so we're keeping space for when we decide to have children but for now a little secret cupboard and my downstairs toilet. Okay and the reason I actually came in here in the first place was because on the day of the shoot when we were doing the Halloween day me and Mark thought it would be hilarious to bring down this scary, oh what's the clown called? It's the clown from um, American Horror Story, the freak, what was it called? Freak show? I don't remember, but it was the series where they were um, in the tent and there was a scary clown. Oh my god, what is his name? It's on the tip of my tongue. You're all probably screaming it at me right now. I don't remember, but uh, Alfie bought this mask, which is terrifying, and we, we put it up here and then <laughs> I just went for a wee and absolutely shat myself because this caught my attention in the corner of the room. Like, I'm not kidding you, look at those eyeballs. Like, is that not just absolutely hideous? I don't know why we thought that would be funny. <laughs> Clearly no one else did, and someone put it in the corner like, nope, not having that. Uh, so I do need to remember to take that out of here because it doesn't quite go with the aesthetic of the room. Uh, I am now heading to the office. Just realised that I haven't actually, sorry. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. It's like silence and I was like, I'm just gonna vlog but then everyone's gonna think I'm like speaking to them. I realised I haven't actually vlogged at all in the office today because I came in and I got stuck into my long list of things I needed to do. And finally the vlog has gone live. So I'm very happy about that. Thank you for all your lovely comments. I've just been replying to some of them. And in a short while I'm gonna go and meet Poppy Days and we're getting our nails done because mine have grown up so quickly. Grown up. <laughs> They're growing up so fast. <laughs> I just need to get them filled in and I don't know if I want a different colour. I quite like this colour. I feel like it's quite Eastery, but also goes with everything. Or I don't know whether to go for like a mint, but I'll see you when I get there. Apparently we've been sent loads of jelly beans and it's the oh, bean boozled sure. game. Let's do it. We're doing it, you're just doing it. No, everyone has to do one. Including Zoe. No, Including I'm not. I'm not. I've avoided it. I've avoided it. It's not for a whole month, that's why this is really upsetting me. Okay, in a month is National Jelly Bean Day. Holly's like, we can't do it now, it's not National Jelly Bean Day. We might not all be here on National Jelly Bean Day. We're not going to be coming in. To be fair, it's all important. Skunk spray. Oh. Yeah. Dead fish. Moldy cheek. No. No. Fish. no. Where's dead Not fish? Oh no. Oh, how do they know what the this tastes like? Exactly. Go on, so oh, I take one. <laughs> Pick one and then whatever one of that colour you don't have. Oh god, I'm really terrible. So one of you all have to have one. I'm literally waiting for my arms. I'm really 
It's the worst. I, what what colour are you going for? You've got to do it at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Which colour? So you've got to have a white one. What is it? <laughs> oh, 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 spoiled oh, milk! Yeah, oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh my God! That oh no! no. Three, two, one. Who's got it? Mmm, so delish. Do you love your nails? <laughs> you would not believe how late it is. It's like so past my bedtime. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Got to get down on Friday, that's what I've heard. It's a beautiful spring day again. It started off raining. God, I'm such a typical, like, British person, like, always talking about and addressing the weather. <laughs> I have just filmed a video for Monday and um, just had my last, like, face-to-face -face session with my therapist and now she's heading back home. I've really loved this week and I just really enjoy my time, like, chatting with her and actually, it's quite an exciting, slightly terrifying prospect, but she was like, I'm not gonna need to speak to you like this much longer. And I was like, Aah! like it's obviously an amazing thing and I've worked so hard for the past four years to get to this point. And I can see where I've made such huge improvements in my life and the things that I used to avoid. And, I mean, I knew there would come a day where she would say, you know, there's really not much more we need to work on, but that day has come and I will still speak to her. Oh, sorry, Nala, you're walking a little bit close to me there. I just booted her in the head with the back of my foot. Um, there will still be things we can talk about for like the close future. I mean, I'm always going to find something to talk to her about just because... I think it's great to have that person to talk to, whether that's about something really big like mental health or whether that's like a particular issue that you're struggling with. I just, I think it's really helpful. So I'll probably still speak to her about situational things and like work and a bit more kind of like mind management. But the anxiety thing is kind of coming to an end, which I'm really, happy about and I'm very excited that I can share that with you because obviously right I'm shutting this door now because obviously a lot of you have been on this journey with me let that be a little bit of Friday motivation for you if you work really hard at something that you want to change in your life even though it feels like the end is never in sight it is and it creeps up on you so much quicker than you think and then you just feel so proud that you've got to this point. So yeah, that's my little bit of 
Friday happiness. Just waiting for Alfie, he's jumped in the shower. But we're gonna be nipping into the office. I've been summoned, but yeah, we're heading in. I've got my laptop, gonna do a little bit of work, catch up with the guys, and it's the last day we're gonna be in the office before we head to New York. Let me show you. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> That was close, nearly dropped it. Let me show you today's outfit. We have huge 50 millimeter hoops from ASOS. Um, this denim jacket, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you the back. There we go. Girl gang. And then I have this dress on, which has lasted me a very long time. I just can't bear to part with it, even though like there's threads coming off it and everything. This is like a very dark forest green, three quarter length. Actually, that's not three quarter length. What's that? Like one quarter length. <laughs> um, just tight kind of figure hugging bodycon dress type thing. It's very warm though. I really like it. And then my Mina, how do you pronounce this? Mina Parika, Mina. I'm butchering that, but these are my rose gold high tops with the bunny ears. I love them. Some of the most comfortable trainers I own. Um, and I will try and find a link to those. I bought them quite a while ago, but I do feel like they're a permanent fixture to her range. So if there's still some available, I'll try and find them and link them below. Up we go. Nala's not really a fan of the lift. Are you? She always Nala. sits on my shoes. Look, yeah, watch. look. look. <laughs> she likes to sit on our feet. God. We've got decks, eat cake, donuts, a massive cronut cake, balloons. Oh my god. These are so cool. I feel really overwhelmed. I'm like, I'm like, oh my god. I brought my laptop and everything. I was like, I was like, I'm just coming in. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll bring my laptop. <laughs> yeah, why does it... Is this happy? Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, like oh, it's, 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 it's a bit dark around here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't even know. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, look, I want to film that. I signed the card. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zoe. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Congratulations. Okay, there's explanation. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I see, I see a theme. 
Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> oh, little face masks. Thank you. Oh, 500 hidden secrets of New York. Oh, I love that. Thank you, guys. Oh my god. Friends <laughs> top trumps. Is this like plain oh. stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we have that one. I love that. You've got similar hair. Hello. I'm not. I'm not. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's, oh my god, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Tell me what's happening. <laughs> yes, so well. You've never guessed me on my love. Yeah, I'm like social media. <laughs> love it. Yeah. Okay. You have to scream. <laughs> Like, that is oh, oh my god! Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we pass oh the light? Oh my gosh! Oh my god. This is so good. We're gonna eat one. Are you eating the cake? <laughs> We've taken slices out. This layer was red velvet. This one was lemon, and this one was pineapple. I'm now back. I've somehow climbed into bed <laughs> but I just am having like a nice chilled evening now. I so was not expecting to walk into the office and be surprised by like everyone being there. It was so nice and obviously they're people I work with and see all the time but everyone was in one place and that doesn't happen too much because like everyone's off doing things all the time so for all of us to be in the office was so much fun and then Amanda and Nick and Poppy and Sean were there as well which was lovely oh it was just so so nice I'm so lucky that I get to work with such amazing people who are also kind and caring and thoughtful I just love it I just feel like the luckiest person in the world so yeah thank you uh to everybody who was there today I love you all a lot and I now kind of want to watch some YouTube videos and eat a bit of cake. <laughs> There's a lot of cake to go around. So, um, yeah, I feel like now the next time you see me will be a New York vlog. So I hope you guys are really excited for that. And I will see you very soon.